that he has to play a certain game the same way you do. So Dion had to lead Jackson to go to all white Colorado. The race come first. European Jews, the race come first. Arabs, the race come first. And with black people, ourselves come first. And that's why we can't win because all power is in the group. Teamwork makes the dream work. Business doesn't have moral clause in it, right? So no, European business doesn't have. And moral that's clause. what the that's what the colleges are, right? Ain't that the European structure? Okay. All right. So we're speaking about the, the again situational awareness. Now niggas want to loom me to death. Salute loom. Yeah, Salute exactly. Loom. It's my man loom. Yeah, it's my man too. Both looms. Old loom, new loom. Both <laughs> oh, okay, man. okay, okay. Yeah, All ops must know it's up there and it's stuck there, nigga. When it's up there, man, it's stuck there. Shut up. You just had a situation, as I mentioned to Charlemagne, where the Supreme Court just threw out affirmative action in college admission, which means white colleges no longer have to pursue the black student anymore. That just made HBCUs more critical. If they don't survive, the black middle class and or professional class doesn't survive. When Dion showed up at Jackson State, and I've spoke to players after that interview, players who told me Dion did not tell us he could leave, not that quickly. Multiple okay. players. So, so, but at what point do but we? But let me finish that point. Go ahead. So, therefore, you come to this HBCU, you see the change that you're able to generate. Why not systematize this so the HBCU can now compete? with the Alabamas and the Florida States for that football revenue, that basketball revenue, those top recruits. And now the HBCU doesn't have to worry about handouts and contributions from alumni and celebrity blacks because you're now bringing in enough revenue on an annual basis from your athletic programs the same way Duke and Carolina do to sustain the university. Deion Sanders could have went down in history as one of the greatest black men in American history. You don't think so? Had he, say that again. You don't think he's still going down in history? As an athlete, but that's irrelevant to me. I don't care about athletes, I care about black success. As a coach, you don't think he's going down? As what As coach? a coach. He may, I don't know what the future holds, but that's not important to me. So what is he, what would he, because oh, you're athletics, saying, you're saying, okay. athletics does not in any way, shape, form, or fashion compare to black survival and success. I don't care how many trophies you got, how many rings you got, that does not compare to where we end up as, as a people. Is, is sports athletics a portal or a, a portal to power though? How is it a portal to power when less than 50% of black division one male athletes graduate within four to five years and at least 40% of them never graduate at all? They exploit them for four years and they back in the hood selling crack and weed. How is that a portal to power? Yeah, I understand that, but at the same time, I feel as though someone like Deion Sanders can come through that and continue to elevate. I don't so Deion that. Sanders bragging the other day that gained the home opener for the University of Colorado, Boulder, Colorado, with a black percentage of 1.3%. Cracker land. 1.3% black people in Boulder. Y'all know King Kong was coming. One point. 3% black people in Boulder, Colorado, 2.6% black students at the University of Colorado, Dion bragging that the home opener made $18 million. What did that do for us? I heard, I, I mean, I understand that, but I think it's, I think he's thinking about his journey. The same, his. hold on. The same way you're thinking about your journey. No, my life is for the people. So, Everything I do is for the people. All right. I, I understand. And, and you, you know, we're going to have some clapping and all of that. Ooh, You're going to have it. It's funny to me. Because I'm the realest man in black hey, America. Listen, listen. what, what we're going to talk about is the truth, though. Because we're dealing with the truth. We have to live in reality. We're not, the claps don't make us right or wrong, right? <laughs> what we have to focus on is the truth. You're telling me, you're telling me that your life, so if, if that was the truth, if your life was all for the people, you'll live at that school. You wouldn't have a home. I probably won't go home once the school opens. Before it opens, you would take the money from your home and put it in the school. I have. All of it. Just about. See, that's what I'm saying. So Just there's, about. But there's room to think about yourself. Yes, but yourself does not take precedence over the people. My life is for the people. 
It is not about personal achievement. So you don't nothing wrong with that. Here's what I'm saying, because I don't want to make it all about Dion. You understand? Right, right. This is a systemic problem we have as black people where we never subvert the personal agenda for the best interests of the race. That's where we have to go. Chinese, the race come first. European Jews, the race come first. Arabs, the race come first. And with black people, ourselves come first. And that's why we can't win, because all power is in the group. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> hey, y'all, y'all are funny, man. Y'all are so funny. Hey, you know that you know they're gonna do this, cause you're powerful with this talking yes, thing. Bill, make some noise. <laughs> this is why I brought you though, Umar, because again, the way you speak, I think you're one of the most brilliant speakers in the world. But Appreciate again. You. I want us to hammer this point down. You don't sleep at the school, right? Well, remember. You do have a life outside of the school, outside of the mission, outside I have of- a school, I have a life outside of the school, but I don't have a life outside of the mission. There's nothing I do on a daily basis that isn't directly tied to the liberation of African people. I don't know. Give me something. I don't know your daily. You give me your daily routines. I don't know. I, it's, I find that, I mean. I'm at the airport today coming here. I'm on the phone consulting with a mother because they're trying to expel her special ed son illegally because they never done a manifestation determination. They never gave him the behavior plan that the IEP law requires him to have for them to even consider the expulsion. Then I'm on the phone with another mom trying to help her save her son. People call me two, three o'clock in the morning with mental health and educational emergencies. You understand? So I'm not saying that I am the most devout black man on the planet. I'm just saying, if it ain't me, I don't know who it is. <laughs> All right, so back, let's get back to Dion, because you popping some, you popping it right there. <laughs> let's get back to Dion. So, so oh, oh, in all actuality with Dion, I feel as though when I look at even people like, business doesn't have moral claws in it, right? So- No, European business doesn't have and moral that's what And that's what the colleges are, right? Ain't that the European structure? Okay. All right, so we're speaking about the, again, situational awareness. You cannot ignore the facts. Dion is inside of a structure and a system that he has to play a certain game the same way you do. So Dion had to lead Jackson to go to all white Colorado because he's in the system? Yeah. No, Dion. I believe Dion to be chasing a dream. I believe Dion to be chasing a position for him, his family, and then the- We need more culturally in tune podcast. It's up. It's up there, podcast. He can talk for 17 hours. I'm sure you won't bring out a thing. Big Lou. He's a good interviewer. He's amazing. Oh, where the he learned this stuff from? Brady's so focused.